went vegetarian, then paleo. You stopped restricting. You're trying to love yourself more, but nothing seems to be working fully. And you might feel hopeless about ever feeling good in your body. And every time you fail, you trust yourself less. As the larger world feels increasingly in peril, caring about how you feel in your body may feel frivolous and even more hopeless. We are at a time when our individual and collective stories about what to do for our bodies, health, and the world are crumbling. Because these stories we have, they aren't working for how our bodies or our world actually works. And I believe centering our bodies, all bodies, not just thin, white, or quote, good bodies, and what all of our bodies need to thrive will help orient us in a better direction. There's no one size fits all diet exercise, or way to biohack. Good health is much less about willpower or discipline and more a complex interweb of our societal structures, food choices, emotional history, environmental exposures, and privilege. There is a great loss of certainty and safety when we initially have to face what is real versus the half-truths we've been fed. But the loss of these stories creates an opening. If this opening is pursued with curiosity and discernment, we can discover our awe-inspiring ability to create and embody a new body story for our physical and political bodies and the earth. I'm Ali Shapiro, and I host the Insatiable podcast, so we engage in the type of conversations that will lead us to radically new body stories for ourselves, each other, and the earth. To do that, we discuss a more truthful approach to freedom from cravings, emotional eating, binging, and being all or nothing. We explore the hidden aspects of fighting our food, our weight, and our bodies, and dive deep into nutrition and behavioral change science and true whole health. But fair warning, this is not your parents' health care or the conspiratorial crazy of the wellness world. This is a big rebel gathering to those who want to hold nuance, context, and complexity in order to lead the way to a healthier future for all, because our lust for life is truly insatiable. Outside, wildfires rage. Air pollution increases the devastation of COVID. In addition to ecological collapse, Our American democracy is on the brink as changing demographics are met with voter suppression laws and precise gerrymandering to uphold the existing power structures as the concept of liberal democracy wanes around the world. And the news is brimming with soul devastating heartbreak. It's easy to give in to overwhelm and powerlessness. The problems we face are big, complicated, and don't have easy answers. Yet, turning away only guarantees the problems will grow. What we resist persists. The same goes for our overeating, emotional eating, and binging. If we keep turning to food to turn away from our stress, our food battle can feel beyond hopeless. We form more out of control with food in our lives, further distancing ourselves from the control and creativity we do have because we fantasize these skills will come with weight loss or perfect health. This isn't an either or, either contribute to the greater good or focus on our body and health. I'm doing both as we speak. Plus, ignoring our bodies, burning out, and martyring ourselves is actually part of the patriarchal and capitalistic model that got us here. A central truth with food client discovery is learning that food choices have little to do with willpower and discipline and much more to do with trusting satiation. Satiation at its root is feeling satisfied and having our needs met. Whether it's enjoying our food or realizing we aren't needy for having needs, trusting satiation requires being in a healthy relationship with our bodies, humanity, and the earth. I wholeheartedly believe this embodied place is where the innovative questions and answers we need will come from. Having our needs met is both the obstacle and path to understanding how much healthy control creativity, and influence we do have with how we feel in our bodies and our lives. And this ripples out into how much we believe we can influence on a collective level, because most of us have a need to be part of something greater than ourselves. 
This insatiable season number 12, we'll explore the topic, trusting satiation, a truce with food secret. Truce with food is an adult development framework that has us question our socialized, quote, good and bad ideas about food, bodies, and our humanity to reclaim the power we do have within our bodies. Because for many of us, we've been socialized to believe that our major power and the source of our influence is in being thin and attractive. After we understand how even the most rebellious and independent amongst us are still being controlled by this illusion, we can self-author new ideas around our body truths, which are unique, profound, discoverable, and liberating. This includes the very traditional toxic definitions of power and influence that usually involve exploitation and domination, which makes us even shy away from admitting we want influence and power, including for the greater good. Most of us want to deeply believe in satiation, but find it hard to trust. Satiating our hunger and need for rest and joy is often seen as bad, as it feels undisciplined, unproductive, and racked with guilt, especially when the world is on fire. And trusting and following our emotional and soul longings, integral to satiation, we fear is irresponsible, impractical, and wanting too much, especially with so many people suffering. In this season, we'll explore how satiation influences our eating habits, how we relate to our bodies, and some of the core beliefs that stop us from trusting in satiation. You'll walk away with deep questions to hold and hopefully surprising, freeing answers that will help you feel more capable and resilient for the times we find ourselves in. Buckle up. Join me, Allie, back here next Wednesday, September 29th, when we drop our first official episode of season 12, Insatiable, Trusting Satiation, A Truce with Food Secret. Chew on this trailer. Until then, hashtag food puns forever. Thank you, health rebels and visionary storytellers for tuning in today. If you know someone who would benefit from this episode, please share it with them. And remember, we have transcripts of our episodes at alishapiro.com backslash podcast for your non-audio friends and family. And if you can, I'd love it if you can leave a review on Apple Podcasts. It helps more people find the show. And both actions, reviewing and sharing with others, helps us change the cultural narrative around food, weight, and our bodies. Thanks for engaging in a different kind of conversation. And remember, always, your body truths are unique, discoverable, profound, and liberating. Thank you.